Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, Managing Director, U.S. Equity Strategy. In this week's Sector Watch, found on www.getmarketscope.com, I updated my bare basics table to see if the S&P 500 was any closer to a bull market top. The stock market remains aloft, despite weaker than expected recent readings for industrial production, retail sales, housing starts, and consumer confidence, as well as escalating global military tensions. Either investors have shut off their television sets or are just shutting out what they believe to be noise. In early 2013, I compared a variety of economic, fundamental, and technical indicators with levels at prior bull market tops since 1948 and concluded that the S&P 500 was not likely to fall into a new bear market. Today, 18 months later, the S&P 500 has gained 30 percent and a plethora of new headwinds have emerged. As a result, investors again are wondering if the 500 is on the precipice of falling into its 10th bear market since World War II. After updating this bare basics table, I again found that few economic, fundamental, or technical indicators matched up with levels typically seen at market peaks. However, valuations, along with the S&P 500's distance from its 200-day moving average, hint that the market needs to rest, but not necessarily rest in peace. No one knows exactly when a decline will start or how far the market will ultimately fall. However, based on comparisons with prior market tops, while we think the decline will probably be the kind that is scary yet refreshing, a new bear market is not likely to be lurking around the corner. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.